Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about the uh, second part of aldol condensation. So now in this lecture we are discussing about uh, in this lecture we are discussing about two things. One is a selectivity. Another one is a trick to write the aldol products. A trick to write the aldol product. So the selectivity means so where which type of alpha protons abstraction takes place in case more than one alpha positions having the reacted. Okay. Now the second one is the trick. So there are several several types of aldehydes and ketones can undergo the aldol condensation. Now we will write the all the four steps in each and every reaction. It to be very burden. Okay. That's why I'll give the very simple trick to write the uh, aldol products a uh, very easier manner less than thirty seconds less than. 30 seconds. So first we will go with uh, selectivity. Okay. Now the selectivity. Selectivity of aldol condensation. We know that we know that aldol condensation. So let us discuss it one more time. Just uh, uh, briefly. CH3, CHO. This is alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compound in presence of a weak base. So now it gives uh, an alpha beta. So before alpha beta saturation, it will give us. Uh, beta hydroxy carbonyl after that alpha beta uh, water the, the he, he, whenever heating supply then uh, water elimination takes place that is called dehydration now we will get the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so, so this is the aldol condensation now here only one alpha proton is there that's why there is no competition okay now whenever we use this um, weak base then here proton abstraction only okay now proton abstraction takes place here only okay so but in case of more than one alpha positions containing reactant is there now what will happen now let us take the another example ch3 ch ch2 ch3 ch3 okay this is a 2 butanone okay four hydrogen four carbons containing organic compound this is called 2 butanone 2 Butanone. Okay. Now, in case uh, carbonyl attached position, carbonyl adjacent attached position is alpha, uh, either right side also alpha. So now here we have the two alpha hydrogens. So in previous cases, only one alpha hydrogen is there. That's why we, we use the base. Then abstraction of the proton takes place only over there. Okay. Now, in case of two types of uh, two types of alpha hydrogens are there. In this case, we have to some selectivity. We have to require some selectivity. So for the abstraction of a proton. Now I use the base. So I mentioned very clearly a weak base, not the strong base, not that point. A very weak base. Now here. So if what will happen here, abstraction takes place. Now what will happen? Maybe over there. Okay. Now here it gives CH3, CH minus C double bond O CH3. But in case CH3, CH2, C double bond O CH minus. CH2 minus. So we did not consider their carbon ion stability. Why? Because so here the carbon ion, both the carbon ions are less stable. They are readily undergoes the ketoenol formation. That means enolization. They are readily forms the enolization. Now we will get an enolate. CO minus CH3. Now here. CH3, CH2, CO minus double bond CH3. Okay. Now, whenever in case of uh, enol products, uh, which is more stable? So, the more stable intermediate will give the major as a product. More stable intermediate will give the major as a product. Now, according to the Hoffman rule, more substituted olefin is more stable. More substituted olefin is more stable. Okay, so more substituted olefin is more stable. According to that, more substituted olefin means what? So now here, in case this is the simplest olefin, all are having the only hydrogen. So here it is the simplest olefin. Whenever one of the hydrogen replaced by alkyl group, then it is mono substituted. So second one also replaced by the alkyl group, then it is di substituted. If it is third one, tri substituted. Fourth one, tetra substituted. So generally, how many alkyl or uh, other ox hydroxy or uh, oxy substituents are there? Then it's said to be mono, di, tri, tetra substituted. So based on the Hoffman condon Hoffman rules, okay. Now the more substituted is more stable. That means a tetra is more stable than tri. Tri is more stable than di. Di is more stable than simple one. Okay. So this is the stability order of wolfins. Now let us look looking out uh, our our uh, products. 
in both the cases like here here h means i would like to write here write this now here here also i would like to write the those protons very uh, separately now in case here it is one substitution here it is a second substitution now here it is third substitution it is a tri substituted olefin tri substituted olefin now here it is one substitution it is another substitution it is a di substituted olefin di substituted olefin so among the these two according to offman tri substituted olefin is more stable okay so this is more stable enolate more stable enolate so which is the major product okay which is the major product now according to this where the proton abstraction takes place uh, in case of uh, uh, different type of alpha positions are alpha hydrogens are present now let us looking out the reactant molecule now here alpha hydrogen means less number of hydrogens here alpha hydrogens are more number that means here two hydrogens here three hydrogens so wherever the proton abstraction takes place which one, which one gives the more stable intermediate then that is the major product that is the major product now here so less number of hydrogen containing alpha position readily donated their h plus ion that means that is more acidic than so right side one okay now here so less number of uh, hydrogens containing position readily participated the aldol condensation readily participated the aldol condensation now here here proton abstraction takes place then corresponding all, uh, all uh, the corresponding products will give the aldols okay now let us go with uh, this example as a aldol reaction i think it is uh, understandable okay but advanced theories gives the information okay so not the not this point for uh, like a jam csr student not the j means so now here ch3 c double bond o sorry ch2 ch3 c double bond o ch3 now whenever in case of uh, like weak instead of weak bases they are used in the like lda or butyl lithium like a uh, such type of large and strong bases such type of large and strong bases we will get the product uh, so major product is this one okay this is the major product that means a uh, less side less sterically less side proton readily donated because of a uh, large size of the base large size of the base now we are in case of large and low temperature reactions will give the right side will give the more number of hydrogens uh, readily participated readily participated not this okay very important for a uh, csr and jam uh, students okay now let us go with a uh, uh, example okay now here ch3 ch2 c double bond o ch3 okay now the proton abstraction takes place then it gives the corresponding carbon ion ch3 ch ch double bond o ch3 okay whenever the another mole of uh, ketone will present like this or another mole of ketone we will write uh, like this C double bond O C H three. Whenever this nucleophile attack over there, then it forms a O minus O minus abstract the proton from base, like a proton from alkyl base. Alkyl having the sorry from aqueous base. Aqueous having the H plus ions. Now we will get the C H three C H two C O H. Okay. Here the nucleophile attack over there uh, at electrophilic center. Then carbon cannot be added by the more number of more than four bonds. That's why here bonded to electron shifted towards the oxygen atom. Then we will get the O minus O minus abstract the proton from aqueous uh, aqueous base. That means here it becomes O H. Now here it having the C H three. The remaining things are same. C H C H three C double bond O C H three. Okay. Whenever uh, Which which is supplied to the some H, then we will get the CH3, CH2, C double bond C, CH3, CH3, C double bond O, CH3. This is the major product. When we used some weak bases only, when we used the weak bases. But advanced uh, studies, whenever the large bases on the low temperature bases and strong bases are used, now we will get the uh, right side product is major. That means more number of hydrogen containing side is a favorable reaction in aldol condensation. Okay. so this is the uh, this is the simple thing uh, where the proton abstraction takes place in case of uh, different different types of alpha hydrogens present in the aldol condensation okay now we have to uh, look at a uh, simple trick 
how to write the all doll products uh, very simple manner very simple manner before going to that uh, one, another note point is there so another note point whenever if it is uh, all doll condensation we use the strong bases like a strong KOH not a diluted KOH so then it forms the uh, like a ruddy lip uh, then it gives the okay so two, two, 2 plus 2 4 products whenever we use the more and more bases that means more 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 strong bases now we will get the uh, final one is a resin why because here the dehydration takes place uh, repeatedly the dehydration takes place repeatedly now we will get the resin when we use the strong bases note this point very clearly okay when uh, when in presence of strong bases are not a KOH more than that are strong bases now we will get the resins why because here the dehydration takes place repeatedly dehydration takes place repeatedly now we will go with a simple trick to write the all all condensation trick Okay, first one it takes uh, just uh, uh, one minute or uh, less than 50 minutes or less than 50 seconds. Then after very easier. Okay, I'll give the simple example CH3 C double bond OH. Now, which means uh, here the first it is a uh, proton abstraction takes place. Now it becomes a CH2 minus CH2 minus. Whenever the carbon ion that means uh, the carbon ion will write the uh, will write the right side, then the electrophilic center will write the left side. Okay, before write the electrophilic center, now hydrogens write down the group, down side of the carbonyl group. Now it becomes nucleophilic attack takes place. It undergoes nucleophilic attack. Now we will get a CH3, CO minus here H, CH2, C double bond O, H. Now, however, in presence of OH plus, then it becomes OH. Further the, furtherly, it undergoes the dehydration with uh, alpha alpha hydrogen. Now we will get a double bond. Now we will get a double bond. Okay, this is the product. This is the product. So I'll write this this product very easier manner. So this is the reaction. Now this is the product. Okay. So I have to take the two two aldol two moles of uh, same reactant. Now whenever these two moles of same reactant, the carbon ion carbon having the single bond nature in uh, startingly then after it forms the double bond then after it forms the double bond this is the product very easier okay now i'll give the another 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 one ch3 co ch3 okay now wh what will happen now i will write the carbon ion in right side okay so this is the product whenever in case of uh, ketones right side group uh, presented as a bottom okay like uh, represent a bottom side now here it, it forms the bond then single bond becomes a double bond whenever heat is supplied now i'll write the very simple manner ch3 here double bond ch c double bond o ch3 very easy trick okay now here we will get the aldol now here it is also aldol product i'll give the uh, one more example to predicting the aldol products to predicting the aldol products now however so I, I would like to represent the like um, a stick ma a stick manner. So this is nothing but a two. Okay, this is nothing but two butanol. Okay, where the proton abstraction takes place, as we discussed in the starting of this lecture. Okay, so now whenever we use the weak base, that means a very diluted base. Now the proton abstraction takes place here. Okay, so the proton abstraction takes place here. That means I would like to write the product. This is the carbon ion. Now again. Carbonyl compound right like this. Okay. Now, however, this in between them it forms the double bond. Now it is a product double bond. Now here it is a double bond. So one having the methyl, another one having the ethyl. This is the product. One having the methyl, another one having the ethyl. Now we will get the product uh, this one. So we stop the uh, in before the dehydration. Now that is nothing but. So here instead of double bond, we will get the OH group at beta position. So we will get the OH, OH group at beta position. This is the like a beta hydroxy carbonyl compound, beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. If you want one one more example, I'll give the I'll explain the very simple manner. Okay. Okay. CH3. CH2, CH2, C double bond was CH3. That means I would like to write uh, this type. Now another one is 
Okay, this is the reaction. Now, in between them, it forms the double bond. In between them, it forms the double bond. So, double bond O, methyl, methyl. Okay, now here, it is propyl group, here methyl group, here propyl group, here methyl group. So, after the after uh, writing the product of aldol condensation, let us check uh, how uh, the number of uh, all, uh, number of carbons in both reactants products are same. So now here, we, you, if you take the one mole, it uh, tw twice of the twice twice the number of carbon atoms present at the uh, products present at the product. This is very simple thing for the aldol condensation. Now, uh, it is very easier to find the like uh, aldol products. Okay, thank you for watching.